having a family and pursuing your passion means finding a balance that fits your life. So today, how to get the flexibility you want on the job and in your everyday life. Corporate recruiter Carly Hazen is here with advice on how to make it happen. Why is flexibility something we have to go after and we have to make for ourselves? You know, flexibility exists, but the reason we need to create it for ourselves is because no two situations look alike. A lot of people seek flexibility for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes it's childcare. Sometimes it's returning back to school to um, get an MBA. Sometimes it's an ailing relative. So there's a lot of different unique situations. Some people need just a little bit more of a uh, shortened work week. Some people need entire days off. Uh, it really needs to be what works for you and you need to be the one driving it, also creating the case for it and also creating the boundaries and the structure to make sure it's a mutually beneficial arrangement because no one's probably going to take the reins and say oh you need your more flexibility yeah, in your life it's like you have a lot going on do you want to take Fridays off yeah that's not going to happen you need to really kind of treat it like a business proposition um, there's a problem there's a solution and there's a result and you've brought some steps and ways that we can do that and absolutely. timing makes a big difference if you're going to bring this up to an employer or absolutely. somebody else mm -hmm. yeah yeah there's some really great uh, tips and tricks I think our first one is kind of knowing when to broach the conversation and knowing when to negotiate it. Um, the very best time to negotiate specific terms of employment is directly after an offer has been extended. Um, a lot of people don't really realize that. You're so focused on you know, uh, strategizing to make sure that the job is a good cultural fit, a good skill set fit, to make sure that the compensation is right, healthcare benefits, there's so many things you think about. It's kind of an after the fact, but that's really an ideal time to bring it to the table. Um, and more and more candidates in a job search are being empowered to do so. Um, but once you've secured that successful opportunity and before you even start to say, you know, I'd love to really broach the conversation and open a dialogue about what flexibility in the workforce looks like for this organization. Here's the reason I'm asking. Um, so really kind of know your case, know your proposition, know why you're needing it, and know exactly what you're seeking, because a lot of times you can be talked down, talked off it altogether, unless you really stand firm and know exactly why you're asking and how you want to incorporate that with a value add. And so all of those things go into building your case and making it make sense. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to build your case, um, and you need to remember that probably the largest and most important part of building your case is to understand that it's all about them. It's not all about you. No one's going to like the bait and switch and have you accept an offer and they go, here's what I really need. You've accepted the terms of employment mm -hmm. as they're stated. It's more a matter of, can I learn more about this? Here's kind of where I'm going um, with my ask. I'm curious to know if anyone else has this arrangement. Is this something that maybe you earn after a period of time? But you have to understand you haven't created any value to that company yet. It's a different situation if you're already engaged in traditional employment and you've added value for two or three or five years and maybe you're seeking some flexibility at that time really great ask at that point to really understand where your value is and to be able to articulate that in that discussion and be really specific mm -hmm. and not vague about what it is you want to do and yeah. how do you do that so you want to be specific <clears throat> about your request be clear about what it is, why you want it, and how it can actually build in additional productivity, additional revenue, whatever your value add is to the company. Create the case on why that's not going to suffer in any ways, and if anything, it'll increase productivity. Um, a lot of individuals have done this really well, and some people ask just because they think it would be a nice to have, and they realize they are not productive when they work at home, or they're feeling that they're way too stretched. So understand the specifics of what you're looking for, and understand that it's a quid pro quo. Maybe you're offering to come in a little later than the typical work schedule every day, but you're also willing to stay a little later, right? You're willing to pick up those hours elsewhere. You're willing to do a little bit of additional work around the office to create value in other additional ways than maybe what's in your standard job description. People create this all the time, and if it's successful, it's twofold. You're not only creating it for yourself, a win-win situation that works better for you and your family uh, arrangement, but you're also becoming a model for someone else to come in and go, look, they were able to create this. They've actually served a blueprint on why it can work. I'm gonna make sure that I'm just as successful and I'm gonna go after that same thing. And so you really are seeing this work and be successful in companies and for the individuals. Absolutely, the in some really hard driving industries as well. Finance, consulting, media, legal, um, all across the board, high tech. It's, it, we're seeking, and I think as women, the, the catchphrase has always been to find balance. I'm finding that it's a lot more realistic for people to seek integration, right? People know your family work life balance, they understand work life balance is really crucial, and they understand both sides of it. Your family knows where you work, they know the colleagues you work with, they understand when you have to hold a meeting after hours, um, and it goes both ways. Your work also understands when maybe you've got a doctor appointment or a, a school performance that you want to attend. So I think seeking 
integration and that is a true collaboration of worlds and a lot of articulation and a lot of understanding your boundaries so that when they get tested you know exactly how to handle it. And can you keep your earning power and still keep this flexibility? If you're adding or value, the earning power is simply a price we place upon the value add. If you continue to add value and continue to be an integral part of that community and that organization, absolutely you can keep your earning power. And how, how what kinds of things should you know before you bring up flexibility with your employer? Right. First of all, it's really helpful to know if anyone has done it at the mm -hmm. company before. If they've ever, you don't need to reinvent the wheel if this is a company that already maybe has a, pl a policy um, around uh, paternity leave or maternity leave or a lot of the common things we ask around workplace flexibility. Uh, sometimes you'll be working with an organization that is maybe located in more of a rural area. Um, there's a lot of candidates from Park City, take for instance, that come down to the valley and seek some telecommuting arrangements for inclement weather mm -hmm. um, or on certain days of the week where they don't need to attend strategic meetings. So I think understanding whether or not that's something that your company already has a policy for. That's great research. Um, researching what the norm is for your industry, researching what type of candidates in your field of expertise are getting this and understanding that. You already do that research to find out what the price point is on your value. You already do that research to make sure that you're well prepared for that interview. Do research on what else matters to you and that could be a flexible work arrangement. And then how can you keep flexibility from turning into longer work hours or we longer work weeks? For just taking on more from both yeah. sides. Um, understanding your boundaries and then sticking to it. And I think that that's why flexibility uh, in the workforce can be really difficult for a lot of people because um, you have to understand that some candidates will always be better at understanding their own rhythm and workflow to an arrangement and understanding boundaries. Uh, and those candidates will be successful whether they're in a flexible situation or not. They understand what works, they understand when they need to draw a hard stop at a certain timeline. So understanding what works for you, testing it out, seeing if you can get into that rhythm and seeing if it's really the best solution for you. Okay, thanks Carly. You got it.